All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, install our credentials here. Um, they're probably already installed because Cloud9 is very good at setting you up with everything that you need, but we're gonna go through the motions of it anyway. And just before we do that, we need to install uh, one thing in Cloud9 here. Uh, and so I'm gonna install uh, via Node Package Manager C9, which allows us to open uh, files um, uh, from the terminal into Cloud9 here. Uh, and so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your home directory. You do that by typing tilde, which is for home, and forward slash, okay? And so now I want you to do L ls hyphen la, okay? And uh, it's going to list everything within this directory. And we are looking for a directory called .aws. Now, if you don't have this one, you just type in mkdir uh, and you do .aws to create it, okay? But it already exists for us because, again, um, Cloud9 is very good at setting things up for us. And then in here, uh, we're expecting to see a credentials file, and that should contain our credentials. So typing C9, uh, the program we just installed there, I'm just going to do uh, credentials here, okay? And it's going to open it up above here. And you can already see that it's set as credentials for us, okay? And I'm just going to flip over and uh, just have a comparison here. So we have some credentials, um, and it is for I don't know who, but we have them. And I'm going to go ahead and... Um, add a new one. I'm just going to make a new one down here called Spock, okay? All right. And basically what I'm doing is I'm actually creating a, a profile here um, so that I can actually switch between credentials, okay? And I'm just going to uh, copy and paste them in here. All right, and so I'm just gonna save that there. And so now I have a uh, second set of credentials within the uh, credentials file there, uh, and it is saved. Um, and I'm just gonna go down to my terminal here and do clear. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in AWS S3 LS, and I'm gonna do hyphen, uh, hyphen profile. I'm gonna now specify Spock, and that's gonna use that set of credentials there. Uh, and so um, now uh, I've done that using Spock's credentials, and we get a list of a bucket stuff, okay? So now if we wanted to uh, copy something down from uh, S3, we're going to do AWS S3 uh, CP, um, and we are going to uh, go into that bucket there. So it's going to be um, exam pro, uh, enterprise D. I have this for memory, eh? Um, and we will do data.jpg, uh, okay? And so what that's going to do is it's going to download a file. But before I actually uh, run this here, okay, I'm just going to uh, cd dot dot uh, and go back to my home directory here, okay? And I'm just going to um, copy this again here and paste it, and so I should be able to download it. But again, I got to do hyphen hyphen profile to specify as proc uh, Spock because I don't want to use the default profile there, okay? Um, and it complained because I'm missing uh, the G on the end of that there, okay? Um, and it's still complaining. Maybe I have to do s3 forward slash forward slash. Uh huh. Uh, no, that's the command. Oh, you know why? It's because when you use um, uh, CP, you have to actually specify the output file here. So you need your source and your destination. Okay, so I'm just going to type Spock, or sorry, data, sorry, data.jpg uh, there. Okay. And that's going to download that file. So, um, I mean, I already knew that I had uh, something for um, uh, AWS there. So I'm just going to go to AWS to show you. Uh, that there. So if you want to do the same thing as I did, you knew, you definitely need to go set up a bucket in S3. Okay. So if I just go over here, we have the exam pro 00 enterprise D and we have some images there. Okay. So that's where I'm grabbing that image from. And um, I could just move this file into uh, my environment directory so I actually can have access to it there. Okay. So I'm just going to do uh, MB uh, data uh, and I'm just going to move that uh, one directory up here. Okay. All right, and so now we have data over here, okay? Um, and so, you know, that's how you'd go about using uh, the CLI with credentials, okay? Uh, and yeah, and we just opened that file there if we wanted to preview it, okay? So now let's uh, let's uh, move on to the SDK and let's uh, use our credentials to do something pragmatically, okay?